Hello everyone, welcome back to Build New Crest part 19, I believe. We are almost at part 20, which just feels surreal because how has that much time passed? I do not know. Um, but yeah, we're back back at the house. Um, we're gonna try to purchase a lot lottery ticket. Purchase? I, that was very... Oh no! Bob's broken. Right, we've got to fix Bob. I'm trying to figure out how Bob can help this, like himself, like how he can fix himself, but I haven't found that out yet. So for now, um, uh, Jean has tried to, uh, try to fix him. I will modify Jean because now he doesn't have his hair <laughs> on some outfits, which is really weird. But maybe we could just get him to look a bit more casual. And I'm sorry, I know I'm changing my mind, like, just in front of you guys right now. But I feel like maybe he was just playing a persona and stuff, you know. Trying to sort of fit in with the way um, the way that Carly looked. Like she looks really fancy and stuff. And now he just, I don't know, he wants to be a bit more sort of carefree. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's let his hair grow out a little bit. He's changing up his fashion sense. And yeah, I mean, this is nice. I think this is a bit of Jean look for Jean. Very casual, very laid back. Love it. I feel like Jean has really gone through a... What is it called? A, um... Something mosphysis. <laughs> you guys know what I mean, right? What is that word? I don't know. I'll find it. I'll put it on the screen if I can actually remember it. Okay, stop chatting. Just fix poor Bob. He's just there. Um, okay, she wants to get to know Bob. I think at the moment... Oh, she can talk to him. Okay, let's get to know Bob. Oh, encouraged to follow dreams. That's so cute. I love that interaction. Leveled up. Stop talking. Just fix the poor guy. Okay, you need to go shower, lady. I feel like when they talk, like even though Sims are, of course, quite good at uh, multitasking and stuff, I feel like whenever they talk, it's just um like the opposite effect like nothing gets done anymore between any of them which is really weird because you'd think it would be you know another way around <laughs> all right present suggestions that always works out well for me and actually um gene has really just done his woodworking like constantly guys he's done nothing but do his woodworking um Oh my god, he's just out here. He's just out here. Alright. Alright, well he needs to recharge his batteries, literally. Um, So yeah, I feel like, I don't know, maybe because he's still a little bit... I, oh, he's not sad anymore, but I feel like after his divorce and stuff, he would have just really tried to get into woodworking and, and things like that. So I don't know, I like that, I like that. And I feel like um, what I'm going to do with the store is I'm going to sell some of his woodwork, I'm going to sell Kara's paintings. So it's going to really be... Um, it's going to be like a combination of everything, basically, in the little store here. It's going to be like a craft store kind of thing. And they actually finished building uh, the rocket ship as well. This is one of the aspirations of Jean. So I want to, um, yeah, to launch him into space five times at least. And hopefully that will work out well. Now, Kara actually aged up. I did forget about her birthday because what, what else is new, guys? Yeah, I always forget about their birthdays. You know that. It's just how we do it here. Um, so actually, what I would like to do is get her to join a career. She's going to go into the fashion designer career. Okay, so we actually have to get up our uh, writing skills as well, which is exciting. I feel like Kara would be really, really good at writing, so I'm not really worried about that. My dog used to chase people on a on a bike a lot. It got so bad, finally I had to take his bike away. <laughs> Did I make you laugh? Yes, Samantha, well done. <laughs> okay, so yeah, she's still, she still really, really likes Samantha. She kind of likes Bob. I feel like she's more like intrigued by him than anything. And uh, what was, who's the other guy that she really liked? Curtis, I think, as well, yeah. They kind of hooked up once, but nothing, nothing really came out of that, so 
Yeah. Maybe we could ask him the question about like if um, maybe she wants to ask him a little bit for reassurance and where was that question about if you oh he if he wants kids. What do you think about my outfit today? Do you think it looks good on me? Yes. Oh, he doesn't look that... Okay, he's open to the idea of having kids. Okay. Okay, that's good. I feel like Parker's like really particular about the guy she wants to end up with. Like she would ask him all these questions before they really got into a relationship. Because I feel like she's so smart and... I don't know. Oh, no, no. Wait, young. Young. He's like, kids? I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't want no kids. <laughs> the hell is she asking me about kids for? And there we go. He's moved in. Ah, so he also has the green fiend and the freegan. And he's every man, lover, and the champion. Okay. Oh, he's like really like a community sort of guy. Very, um... Yeah, like eco-friendly, sustainable sort of thinker, which is great. I think Parker would love that about him. Oh, Gene looks so tense, bless him. He's so stressed. Oh, Parker has a pristine reputation as well. That's great. That's really, really nice. Oh, look at him. <laughs> he's, so, he's that happy. He's just freaking getting the blow, blow horns out. Oh my. Which is great. Oh, these guys are at it. <laughs> They've discovered they're an alien for sure now, which is... Uh, okay, that's interesting. Oh my god, Parker. Oh, she's sleeping. Okay. Is, G is Young stuck in the bed? Okay, he's fine. So I don't think they're actually like proper... Oh, they are boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay, that's really, really cute. They don't know all of, all of their own traits, so yeah. Okay, she does, he doesn't. Okay. So they're also just gonna try for a baby again. And I really, really hope that they uh, they can conceive this time. Oh my god! <laughs> I love the maid. He's just like, you know what? I'm just gonna pretend I don't see anything. <laughs> Look at him go! He's focused. He's a... Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my... Okay. Um... Let's take a pregnancy test. In the real world, this wouldn't be this easy and quick, but... No, she's not... Oh no, maybe she has difficulty get conceiving. Oh no. Oh, poor Parker. This, this must be quite hard on her. She really, really wants a family. Oh, poor Parker. I feel like she should talk to Young a little bit and... I don't know, just... Like share oh wait she doesn't know what job he has of course let's ask him about his career um yeah i don't know maybe she should just like sort of you know tell him about how she feels about this she's like well i really really want a child you know that and i just find it really hard that we haven't been able to conceive yeah and i know it's only been a day in the sims guys but you know sims time this has been like months <laughs> in the sims time so um, I think she would also talk to him about open-mindedness and and I think I think she would say to him like oh if if we don't have if we're not able to conceive like I would really really love to adopt as well so I think she would just make that sort of clear to young so yeah if they if they're not able to then they might um, just have to adopt in that case oh Asai is here oh my god he has stayed alive through this whole time guys does he even age like, Stevie, I swear Stevie was friends with him and he was already an elder at some point. He is going strong. Oh, let's give him residence keys. I forgot that now he doesn't have it because uh, Stevie's not here anymore. We'll definitely give him some residence keys uh, so he can always come and visit us. Let's see, so he finds... I don't know, he doesn't even have an attractiveness. For Parker, he doesn't even have an attractiveness scale? That's really, really weird. Alright. Well, anyway, we'll try for baby. Oh, no! Oh, God. Parker is getting abducted at the moment. What the hell? I was thinking, like, why did she get out of bed like that and just storm off? Oh, my God. 
Oh, she didn't like that. Oh, wait a minute. They didn't impregnate her, did they? Oh, wait. No, I don't think so. Okay, then we'll just try for a baby. If this doesn't work, we're just gonna adopt. Because in The Sims time, this would have been uh, plenty of time for them to sort of try for a baby. So if it didn't, didn't work now, it just won't work. Well, in my game, at least, I mean, it, would, it should work still. I mean, not being able to conceive in The Sims is not really a thing, but yeah. Okay, please, 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 please. <gasps> Yay! She's pregnant! Share the big news with, uh, with Young. Um, share big news. Sorry guys, I also, I didn't change her outfit, so it's uh, censored and we can't see anything right now. Okay, Jean is, uh, Young is happy though. Uh, very good. Oh no. Oh, wait a minute, we got it. Oh, like see, something like this. This is what, this is what I wanted. This is so cute. This, this is it. This is all I wanted. This is all I wanted. Thank you, Jean. Great work. Great work out there, Jean. Great work out there. Bombers boohooing for the first time. <laughs> They're doing it in space. <laughs> oh my god, this is too funny. It's just so weird. And, and <laughs> oh, it's just so weird. I kind of love it, though. Gotta love the, the weirdness, right? Can't take things too seriously sometimes. That is absolutely adorable. I love that. I love that so much. Very, very nice. It's to make out with Bob. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. This is so weird. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, alright. Well, now Bob's getting abducted. Everyone in this house has to get abducted at least one time, otherwise, you're not a resident of this home. It's like, gee, you'll never guess what just happened to me. I got abducted, and this is what they did. Oh my god, look at the pee peeping top. Oh my god. No! Oh my god, no! <laughs> Oh my god, this is so disturbing. Oh my god. I'm so disturbed right now. I'm just so disturbed. Alright. This this game just keeps on getting weirder and weirder. Roman Townsend, that's interesting. Oh, here we are. Parker's finally had her little baby boy. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, look at your little baby. You should definitely say hello to the little baby too. Aww, well, there we go guys. So they managed to conceive and they have a little beautiful baby boy, Roman. Nice. Just in time as well. Parker is just about to be an adult. So I think this is a good time for her to have a, a baby boy. And let's have a look again at what Parker's aspiration will be like. So... Okay, so she does need to at least have four grandchildren. No, sorry, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, have four grandchildren. So maybe they should have another baby later on. Um, but I feel like Parker would still want to adopt a baby. Like, after this experience, I think she just would like to do that. So, um, 
so yeah we'll see how that goes but there there we go guys this is gonna be our third generation of the townsend family which is really really cool uh because we're gonna just sort of carry it on and i don't know i just i love that so much i think that's such a Oh, it's just so nice to see sort of your family um, expanding and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to leave it here, guys. Quite a chill part to today. I just wanted to sort of focus on Parker's pregnancy. Kara's love life is just... I don't even know anymore what to say about her love life. Um, <laughs> like, I don't know what to say. Um, I mean, you know, there's just... She likes Bob... She likes Samantha, Curtis, um, yeah, it, it's just, it's just a bit strange, to be honest, that's the only way to put it. So yeah, guys, we finally have a, a new baby in the home, and, uh, we'll definitely adopt, uh, another baby as well in, in a little while, after Roman grows up a little bit more. Um, but for now, I think I'm gonna leave it here, guys, so, oh. Excuse me, trying to cut me off of my own intro. For now, guys, I think I'm going to leave it here. And I hope you enjoy this more chill part. And I hope you're excited for the next generation of the family. Um, I do enjoy having Kara in the home. But I feel like I don't want to play too many sims. So I might even have to move her out. Let me know if you guys would mind that. if Or if that's okay. I mean, I really, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love Kara, you know, so, so much. Uh, but I'm thinking I might actually just move her maybe into the pink house over here just so she can stay there for a little while uh, at the moment. And then all the kids and this family can concentrate on living here. Um, because yeah, otherwise it's just... Um, otherwise it is a little bit chaotic and I find it really, really hard to keep up with everyone. You guys might see that now I'm just so like stressed out and stuff. So I hope that's okay that I will move uh, Kara maybe to the pink house over here to live close to her mom and you know we can occasionally check up on them and play them a little bit so yeah i think i'm gonna do that guys but i hope you enjoyed this part and yeah i'll see you very very soon in the next part take care guys